Coming up next here on Golf America, we're heading to the northern part of the Sunshine State and to a private golf course community that is home to a wonderful Tom Fazio designed golf course. So what I want you to do is you're going to go ahead and put your foot up on a, on a step or a golf cart. Plus, golf at his coach, Mindy B, demonstrates a great stretching exercise you can do during your round of golf. Shoulders, your hips, your knee, and your ankle. That's coming up next here on Golf America. Calf stretch. I can feel it the whole way up and down my back calf. Maybe you can go up and down on the toes a little bit. Golf America, a weekly look at the courses you play and the game we love, is brought to you by Antigua, apparel for your game, Cobra, and the King F7 driver with Cobra Connect, and by CyberlinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the program. We are in North Florida this week at one of the finest private golf course communities you'll find anywhere in this part of the state. It is Amelia National Golf and Country Club, and it is home to a wonderful Tom Fazio Design Golf Course. Back in 2005, noted golf course designer Tom Fazio was given a track of land just north of Jacksonville in Nassau County. The goal was to carve out a golf course through the southernmost part of the Sea Islands. Fazio, who has an uncanny knack of working with wetlands, was able to create a spectacular layout here at Amelia National. When it opened for play back in 2006, Amelia National did so to rave reviews. Thanks in part to the way Tom Fazio routed this course through the coastal plain in this part of the state. And also to the challenge this layout presents itself to each and every golfer who tees it up here. The neat thing about this course is it's very member friendly. So regardless of whatever tee you want to play on, you can go out there, you can play from a, a 30 handicap down to a 12 handicap down to a scratch. And while water can come into play throughout this golf course, so too can the bunkers. While many of the 89 bunkers help to frame out the holes and add visual beauty to the golf course itself, those that play host to an errant shot are not overly penal. 20 to 30 percent of the bunkers really don't even come into play. And the ones that do come into play, they're, they're fair bunkers, so they're not very severe. As is the case with most Tom Fazio designed golf courses, you'll find an ample amount of room off the tee. And the same holds true here at Amelia National. But it is on your approach shots where you'll need to have a confident swagger to your shot making abilities into each and every green out here. The putting surfaces themselves are not overly undulated. Still understanding the subtle breaks and nuances of each green goes a long way in helping you to score on this golf course. With its six sets of tees, this layout plays to any level of golfer. For the truly skilled player, Amelia National plays to a very healthy 7,166 yards, while offering a course rating of 74.9 and a slope of 138. Moving it up to the forward red tees reduces the length down to 5,130 yards. On the front side, hole number one is a very nice way to start out your round. With a good drive to a wide fairway, most golfers will find themselves with about 150 yards left on their approach. Relatively generous green with a little bit of undulation, but it's a good start because one, you know, you don't really have to worry too much about taking a big number, and two, you do have a chance at a birdie maybe right out of the gate. Number eight is a great par four. Uh, typically, it's into the wind a little bit, it starts prevailing wind. Hole number eight will require a good drive and an even better second shot into one of the tighter green complexes on the entire golf course. 
And as you're coming down with maybe a NASA R2 on the line, it's a, it's a good test of golf for, for just about any, any player out there. And as you close out the front side here at Amelia National, you'll do so on a great par five. But it is really a good par five. It's a good uh, birdie opportunity, if not eagle, for your better players. Um, and and it's, it's just an enjoyable hole. It's a good way to end the nine holes. And on the back side, the par five 11th will certainly provide a challenge for each and every player. It reminds me a lot of Augusta as far as the tree line, the way the hole is set up, the, the undulation of the, of the land. Hole number 11 sports one of the tougher green complexes on the entire layout with water and several bunkers coming into play on your approach. And very little real estate behind the green should you miss clubbing. Hole number 13 is a medium length par four that requires an accurate drive off the tee. Uh, water all the way down the right hand side, uh, preserved to the left, and it just takes, it uh, doesn't necessarily need a driver, but a good three wood to uh, place the ball there and then a good approach shot to the hole as well, uh, which is protected by a bunker in the front and, uh, and, a, and a good green as far as where the pin location is. You can really uh, you can really tuck it back there tough if you want or you can leave it more accessible to the right. Another fantastic hole on the backside here at Amelia National is the par 416. At 343 yards, this is the shortest par four on the golf course. Still, you'll need to carry the marsh en route to the fairway off the tee hit the shot and then you have a little wedge shot in there. So it's a good, a good chance at a good hole as far as a, a, a birdie or a, or a solid par. The golf course here at Amelia National Golf and Country Club in Fernandina Beach, Florida. 18 marvelous holes of golf encapsulated into a land that only Mother Nature could provide and renowned golf course architect Tom Fazio could design. Fit for Golf and Fit for Life is brought to you by Antigua, apparel for your game. Hi, I'm Mindy B from Fit for Golf, Fit for Life, and we're here at the beautiful Porter's Neck Country Club in Wilmington, North Carolina. Do you ever tighten up whenever you're going out to play sometimes? I do, especially when I get to a hole, maybe on in the back nine and I feel that my hip flexors, my hips, maybe my hamstrings and my calves are getting a little bit tight. It's time to loosen up. You maybe have four to five hours of activity. Something's bound to tighten up on you. So whenever I have some time and I'm waiting for the people in front of me, or maybe a little bit slow, or I'm waiting for the person I'm playing with to, uh, to hit their ball, I, I do a couple stretches. So let's try this. I use a low part of the golf cart, or just a little bit of a step to kind of help stretch out my hips. So what I want you to do is you're going to go ahead and put your foot up on, it, on a step or a golf cart, Take your other leg back, and you're trying to kind of form a nice straight line from your head, your shoulders, your hips, your knee, and your ankle. Now this is a calf stretch, okay? This is a nice calf stretch. I can feel it the whole way up and down my back calf. Maybe you can go up and down on the toes a little bit, loosen them up, okay? So that's the top of your calf that, I'm, that you're stretching. Now if you bend your knee a little bit, but you try to keep your heel on the ground, boy, that's gonna help whenever you're going through your through swing. That stretches out your Achilles, and we need that stretch throughout the swing or else that heel's gonna pop up, and we're gonna block our shot. Okay, so there's our, our top of our calf, bottom of our calf. So you can go top of the calf, bottom of the calf. Now let's work up here to the hips. I'm going to do a slight pelvic tilt, lift up my chest, and then lean into the cart. Oh, this is stretching my entire right side, my right hip flexor, a little bit through my core, my abs, and even my quadricep, front of the thigh. If I want more of a stretch, because I am pretty flexible, I want to engage the stretch, and I'm gonna lean back as I squeeze my glutes to really open up the front of the body. Good, okay, let me try the other leg. We'll do it very quickly here. So, we've got foot up, leaning in, good base of support. I feel the calf stretch already, I've got tight calves. Bend the knee a little bit, there's the soleus. Achilles tendon area, back up, you can even loosen it up. And then, last one, 
slight pelvic tilt, lift up your chest. You can still hold on, that's fine. Maybe lift up your arm, oh, and really open up the entire front of your body. You do those stretches, and then you spend the next few hours back in this position, at least you're loosened up and you're not tightened up too much. Okay, so for those stretches, you got your calf stretch, you got your hip flexor stretch, check out those and other stretches on my website, fitforgolfusa.com. Fit for Golf and Fit for Life has been brought to you by Antigua, apparel for your game. Our course of the week is Amelia National Golf and Country Club in Fernandina Beach in Florida. It's home to a wonderful and fantastic Tom Fazio design golf course. And while the golf course is certainly the centerpiece of this private golf course community, it is by no means the only amenity you'll find here at Amelia National. As a member of Amelia National Golf and Country Club, you get to enjoy a wonderful Tom Fazio design golf course. A layout that is in superb condition day in and day out. Now, apart from golf, the Millie National has so much more to offer. Its tennis center is home to eight state-of-the-art hard true clay courts. Five are illuminated for night play. And that is known as one of the best tennis centers uh, in this area. Within the clubhouse, you'll find a warm and inviting atmosphere. Where members enjoy the quality and elegance of fine dining or the casual camaraderie with friends at the 19th hole bar and grill. The clubhouse is also home to a well-stocked golf shop featuring the latest golf apparel and equipment. Also, within the clubhouse, you'll find a state-of-the-art fitness center. And just steps away from the fitness center is a fantastic pool. It's a zero entry pool, so it has the lap side of it, it has the, the, the play side, if you will, the, the casual side. Amelia National Golf and Country Club. Combining Tom Fazio golf and exceptional amenities all in one unique package. It's the best value going, it really is. It's just a little uh, slice of heaven here at the Amelia National. This portion of Golf America is brought to you by CyberLinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos. Our course of the week is Amelia National Golf and Country Club in Fernandina Beach in Florida. It's a Tom Fazio designed golf course and one of my favorite holes on the front side is hole number five. It's the number one handicapped hole on the entire layout. It's a par four that features plenty of landing area off the tee, but the true challenge of playing number five can be found hitting your approach shot into a well-protected green. Hole number five here at Amelia National is a good solid par four. Off the tee, there are areas of concern both right and left. You got a big bunker on the left hand side, you got a, a multiple of bunkers on the right. On a good tee shot going down the middle, you're gonna have maybe 150, 160 yards left. On your approach, you'll be taking aim for a green that offers an ample amount of protection. And you'll need to take the wind into consideration on your second shot as well. The wind does, it's usually a little more downwind, which, which makes it a little bit tougher too as far as gauging that, that, that iron shot coming in, but it helps on your drive. Finding the middle of the green on your approach sets you up for a relatively straightforward two putt. You know, there's, there's certain pins on that green you just don't want to really go after. The par four fifth here at Amelia National. A really good test of golf on this Tom Fazio designed golf course.
One of the nice things about our course of the week, Amelia National Golf and Country Club in Fernandina Beach in Florida, is that if you're thinking about relocating to the Sunshine State, whether you're coming from the Northeast, the Mid-Atlantic, the Midwest, or even the West Coast, you can take advantage of their Discovery Tour. You can stay here for three nights, play two rounds of golf, and you can find out whether or not this community is right for you. One of the great things about Amelia National is that if you are thinking about not only joining the club, but also living within the community, the club offers a stay and play option. That's where people come from up north or, or out of town to come and stay in the community, live the lifestyle, play golf, go to the clubhouse for dinner and talk with homeowners. And when you stay on property, you actually stay in one of their model homes, including the Eagle's Nest. This warm and cozy cottage becomes your on-property home during your Discovery Tour stay. It's a nice split floor plan. You have your master on one side and your secondary bedrooms on the other. The tour includes a two-night, three-day stay, two rounds of golf, unlimited use of the tennis courts, fitness center, and pool, and a $50 dining certificate to the club. So if you're considering relocating to North Florida, there's no better way of doing it than to spend a few days at the community you are considering. Very active community. We have a nice calendar that comes out monthly that shows you all the club events that go on, different theme night dinners, as well as ladies night and a card night. So lots of different activities for everybody. Our course of the week is Amelia National Golf and Country Club in Fernandina Beach in Northern Florida. It's a Tom Fazio design golf course. We looked at number five, the number one handicapped hole on the layout earlier in the program. Now let's move on to hole number six. Now this is a par three that has some length to it. It also features water up the left hand side and several large bunkers that you have to carry on your way to the green. Number six, a beautiful golf hole. Of the four bar threes on this Tom Fazio design here at Amelia National, hole number six on paper is the second toughest, thanks in part to a series of bunkers that leads up to the front of the green. You gotta get over those, and there is water on the left-hand side as well. Pin location will dictate just how aggressive you can be off the tee here at number six. If the pin's left, you don't go for it. If the pin's right, you, you give it a rip. But if the pin's left, typically you're just going to try to hit the green and get out of there with a three. Though not the most undulated green on the course, the putting surface still features an ample amount of movement to it. But it's not severe. You know, it's, it's movement that's going to make you think. It's going to make you think about where you want to leave your shot as far as your, 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 putt, your next putt. Par 3 6. Here at Amelia National, another very nice hole of golf on this Tom Fazio designed golf course. This portion of Golf America is brought to you by CyberLinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos. Our final look at our course of the week, Amelia National Golf and Country Club in Fernandina Beach, Florida brings us out here to hole number 18. Now this is a great finishing hole. It's a long par four that requires distance off the tee and a very accurate approach shot into the green here at number 18. Number 18, great par four, absolutely great par four. Number 18 is also one of the best home holes we've seen in a long time. Off the tee, it's imperative that you get as much distance as possible with your drive. But in 
In order to find the short grass, you'll need to avoid a series of bunkers course designer Tom Fazio placed up the right-hand side. Now for the very long hitters, the water up the left-hand side could come into play off the tee. There's always going to be a long shot into that hole, so your regular golfer is going to be hitting maybe three wood. On your second shot, you'll be taking aim for a green that is protected by a bunker on the front right, a long bunker to the left, and plenty of H2O to the left-hand side as well. In a back pin placement, it's a little more difficult. The front placement's where the, where the scoring can happen, but uh, to your point, it's uh, no matter how you cut and choose it, it's a, it's a, it's a challenge. But it's a great par four and uh, one that you can sit on the balcony of the club and have a, have a little something to drink and, 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 and hoot and holler a little bit for those that are playing the hole because it's a lot of fun. Hole number 18 is truly a great finishing hole on this Tom Fazio design golf course here at Amelia National Golf and Country Club in Fernandina Beach, Florida. Now, if you're thinking about relocating to the Sunshine State from elsewhere or maybe moving from one part of the state to northern Florida, then by all means, consider Amelia National. I'm Alan Hunter for all of us here at Golf America. Hit them long and straight, and we'll see you next time. Golf America, a weekly look at the courses you play and the game we love, has been brought to you by Antigua, apparel for your game, Cobra, and the King F7 driver with Cobra Connect, and by CyberLinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos.